what is going on guys it is bear and to bring you guys a, another tutorial and uh this is kind of a different tutorial actually it's a cinema 4d and this is going to be camera angles and uh camera movement at least and uh i was really kind of i guess questionable about when, whether to do this or not and uh i actually thought i would uh do this because camera angles and movement is actually it's not difficult but it's something that you don't know and you don't learn just from looking at someone do it so uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. It's gonna be a basic camera like, angle movement. So what I'm gonna do is just open up a plane. Let's just say, yeah, open up a plane. And then I'll just make this a little bit bigger. All right, so you have that. And then uh, I'm gonna add some materials. So if I go to, I have these all these materials and stuff. And uh, you guys are not gonna have these because unless you have, uh, I forget his name, but uh, it's his kind of material pack so I'm just open up some materials um, all right I'm not gonna use all this I'm just gonna open up for to look at so what you do this is let's just say that I have my logo all right so if you open up your logo you're gonna go to your coordinates and put these all to zero just so it's right there. And then you're gonna shrink this down to about that size. Not too big, not too small, and then add your extrude nerd. And then what we're gonna do is just rotate this 90 degrees. Negative 90 for me, I guess. And then you're gonna bring it up. And obviously take the size of the depth of the extrude nerve and then lower a bit. All right, so you just have this, your logo. And what you do is you're just gonna duplicate it, go to Philly and Philly cap, and then just bring these down to about two or one, and then round them off. Okay, and then you just take this and bring it down. All right, and then you're just gonna add uh, your just materials. So I'm gonna add a silver onto that, a metal onto this, and then it black onto that. So if I just render preview this out, let's just see what it looks like. All right, so basically the logo, and that's actually really nice, I like the material. So this is pretty much your logo, and this is what it's gonna be looking like. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys camera angle. So what you do is you're just gonna zoom in, and then let's just say you wanna start at one of these bevels. You're gonna pretty much zoom in all the way to here, let's just say maybe even a little more and then you're gonna click the camera alright and you're gonna bring the keyframes all the way down to the bottom so what you do now is you're gonna hit your you don't even need to click that you can click it if you want you can put the camera there and you're gonna click the kind of auto keying and then click the keyframe and then you're gonna go let's just say I'm gonna put this up to 20 seconds alright just put that oops and let's just say you go to here, it's gonna be eight seconds long, the scanning up. So what you do is you go to eight seconds and then you're gonna bring it up to about like here. All right, and then you're gonna click the keyframe. So now for this eight seconds, it's gonna be just this whole entire time, it's gonna be zooming up like this. All right, so now what you can do is since you have a camera movement going up, you can also go past your eight seconds and then click over one, so it'd be 0 0.033. And then you're gonna go all the way up here. Let's just say you wanna zoom in a little bit. And you're right here, and then you're gonna click the keyframe. All right, and then you're gonna go another eight seconds or however many you want, let's just go 14 seconds. And you're gonna zoom it all the way over here, and but you're gonna zoom out a little bit, and then you're gonna click the keyframe again. So as of right now, it's gonna zoom in for eight seconds of you going up and going away from the bevel. And then when it goes here, it's gonna just swing over. It's gonna pop over here, and then it's just gonna go scan through all of this. All right. So now that you have that, what you can do, oops, is go to your 14 seconds and then click over one more. And let's just say you want to go to your logo. 
So you can put it here and then obviously click, click the camera keyframe and let's just say you want to go to your 20 seconds and just zoom in. Alright, and then you keyframe again. So basically, it's just the keyframes and how you move the camera. So obviously, it'll be moving up and then it'll just pan over here. But when you go to here, what you do is you slow it down and then you fade it out to black and then you pop it up like again. And then you fade it back down to black. And it's going to pop over. And then this one's going to zoom it all the way. So that's one way you guys can do camera movements. Another one is you're going to render them out separately. So let's just say that you didn't like that. You erase all of these keyframes. And then say you already rendered out the first one. What you do is you go back to zero seconds and then keyframe and you put it to about six or however many seconds you want it to be. And then you just bring it out like that and then keyframe. So you have just this. All right, so you're just following the bevel and then at your six seconds, it stops. All right, so basically it's just a whole bunch of keyframing and uh, it's how you want to render it out. So this is the care movements for like intros and stuff. And uh, you guys can do other stuff. Let's just say you wanna go. All right, sorry about that, I paused the video. I actually had no idea where I was in the video when I paused it. So I'm gonna assume I was going with these bevel stuff, but um, in the rendering. So pretty much the whole, idea of this is to move the camera a certain part I'm gonna sneeze fuck hey hey <coughs> Jesus all right so uh pretty much you're gonna you can do these camera angles like one after another and uh preferably I like rendering them separate so say you want to add the add these into after effects and let's just say you want to render them out separately and put them together what you do is you fade it in a black and then you're going to slow it down with twixter or slowing down a uh, plugin and then when you get to like when it pauses just say here you're going to fade this back out to black into the next frame so let's just say you want to go to here to here so what you do is you click here put a keyframe and just say that all right and then keyframe. So it pans in, pauses, and then it zooms in here. So pretty much what you do is you're gonna go into After Effects and you're going to fade this into black and then bring it back out. So it's this nice transition. So this is camera movements and uh, obviously I'll show you guys another example of camera movements once again. Let's just say you wanna go to here, you add your camera, put it down to one keyframe, Oh fuck. Brits just say 14 seconds take this long. Oh, I fucked it up. My bad. Alright. So you're here and you keyframe with your camera. So you put your camera, you click this little white line, circle, square thing, keyframe, and let's just say you want to go 15 seconds. It has to go here. Oops like this keyframe so this whole 15 seconds is just this camera going like that so yep it's pretty much really easy to figure it out but it's always be nice to explain it to so this is camera movements and uh sorry it took so long i did not plan on my brother walking in and coming home so soon so i hope you guys really enjoy this make sure to like comment and subscribe and uh more cinema 4d and photoshop illustrator all those tutorials coming in soon so i hope you guys enjoyed peace out